So today is a very exciting day. If you remember a couple weeks ago, I was talking about some issues I was having with those cleats on the bow of the boat. And I went through this whole episode of figuring out how to take them off. But then I realized I really needed some help getting them off. I needed someone on the top of those bolts, holding them from just moving around in place while I was undoing the nuts. Today, my dad is coming out to the boat to help me do just that. The problem with this is not just that it's loose and that lines have to go to this cleat, but that also, this means that there's no real seal around this cleat and water can get through the deck and down into the boat, but also into the core. Now, the reason that wood coring piece is important is because wood can rot once it gets wet. And once it rots, it's the structure, the laminate, the actual material the boat's made out of can start to get weak. And if it starts to get weak, then the structural integrity of the boat begins to get compromised. So you really want to keep a good seal around anything that's going through the deck, especially if you have wood coring in there. And in this case, we do. So one thing I'm going to do just really quick before my dad gets here is undo a vent hose that's preventing me from getting to the nuts underneath those bolts on the port side of the boat. And into the boat we go. <laughs> There's no lights on in the building right now, and I am not entirely sure how to turn them on, so we're going with the old Steve Jobs flashlight method. Right in front of us is the hose we need to take off. Now I'm just gonna wait for my dad to arrive. Then we should be good. Just like that. Yep, so I'm gonna hold the nuts from below and I just need you to unscrew them from above. Unscrew? Yeah. So you wanna take them off? That's the goal for today. When you press down, the bolts are a little bit stripped, so just make sure you press straight down on them. Absolutely positive. Okay, uh, yeah, I can feel that. Is it coming loose? Hell yeah, we got the first and what will be the hardest washer and, and there is the nut. So now we're gonna do the other side of this starboard cleat and we'll do the port side cleat. I think I can actually, Dad, Get this, get this other one by hand, so I'm gonna try doing that, yep. I can get this one by hand. There's the nut. Here is the washer and the lock washer. Let's go far one first this time. It's coming. Okay, I got it. I got it. All right, I'm gonna go for it. Something happening here. Dad, Dad, just give me a second. You want me to try it? No. Let's see him. God. As you can see, they were glued in there with something. I don't that's, know what. That's 5200. If you're ever working on something in your boat, don't use 5200. Me getting them all out of there, well, maybe it's not. 
to twisting, you know, they might have. Yeah, you know what? They this, this might be stripped. I should be able to twist it from the with like a, a vice grip from the from the back, you know. spinning it. Yeah, but the problem is there's all this gunk on it. Yeah, but you've got big enough grip on that. It's better to do it this way because it's not stripped. So I'm not sure it's coming out. Though. It is. Okay, so I just did one last thing down here, which was I put duct tape underneath both bolt holes. And I did that so I can drop acetone down the top of them and let it sit inside those bolt holes. This does two things. One is it's gonna just clean that area a little bit. Before you caulk anything, you always wanna clean it. But also it will work to dry out that immediate coring, that immediate wood sandwiched between the two layers of fiberglass, if it did get wet. After we got done for the day, I proposed what I always do after working on the boat, which is going and taking a look at Lake Michigan. It's not too far away. It's down to the beach. Uh, South Beach. However your day went and whatever you were working on, I think it's important to end things. Doing something that reminds you of something that you love. And for me, there's no better way to end a day than to look out at the water.